Hello, my name is Samuel Warwick. I have autism. The entertainment industry has been a huge part of my childhood. So by being inspired to see other entertainment podcasters interviewing other people from television shows, I decided to do one myself to know about some funny behind the scenes, bloopers, and some stuff that we probably didn't know about while they were making the certain types of shows. This is Entertainment Treasure Talk with Samuel Warwick. Let's go to the podcast now. All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Entertainment Treasure Talk with Samuel Warwick. I am your host, Samuel Warwick, as always. And in this episode, I'm actually very excited because we got a very special guest. From, I think you guys can see from, from the ti- from the title right here, or for the banner that my one of my best friends makes. So, uh, and actually, I do have uh, two two co-hosts with me. I have one. I have one coming back co-host and one new co-host and for my returning co-host we have is mason mcginnis how are you doing mason pretty good pretty nice out here in sandy ohio nice warm weather oh yes and uh my new co-host we have is tristan webb how you doing? yo what doing good how about you how you doing 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 good well that's awesome and yet yeah, and, and yes i'm about to get to our special guest in just a just a little bit but yeah guys um if anybody wants to help out you know if anybody wants to help out with this you know for a long time i have been talking about animal jam for quite some time so if you guys want to sign the petition down below i will probably have a link down there in the in the description below and uh yeah but my guest right here he has but my guest right here has done many many things for the jim henson company he has done stuff for such as you know i got for a guy's resume here. Well, he's done some stuff for Jazz Big Music Show, The Webulous Word of Dr. Seuss, and he's done stuff for The Muppets, and, you know, Kermit Swamp years, and my personal favorite of all time, Animal Jam. Let's, he was the DJ one from Animal Jam, and I think he played that little buffalo as well, I think. But, and he's also been other puppeteers for Bear in the Big Blue House, Allegra's Window, and I am very glad to introduce him. His name is Puppeteer John Kennedy. All right, how are you doing? That's me. Hey. Oh. DJ one, John oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Love the intro, dude. Man. <laughs> but man, oh we're, we're gonna we're gonna have to bring him back here. He's, we he, he, we got some questions for him. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, how, so yeah. How is it really there? I, I, I think you're currently living in Florida. How is it up there? Oh, it, it's it's really nice. It's uh, pretty good weather today. You know, you you catch a little rain here and there, but uh, right now it's uh, it's really nice today. I went out for a walk. It's, it's a nice day. Very, very, very nice. Very, very nice. You know, I am big, a big, I am a big fan of a lot of your work. You know, especially you know, going back, you know, seeing when I was little and just seeing all these puppet shows, you know, going on around that time. And you know, it's just great. And and I've and I've heard some of your podcast stories, and um, I've seen them, and they they're really good. So I just gotta say, so. Anyway, I do got to ask, how did you first get into puppeteering, if I may ask? Like, what, what begins your journey between, in the entertainment industry? I always like to ask that to people. Well, I, you know, I, I grew up around, you know, the, the Crofts and, uh, you know, Saturday morning TV shows. They had lots of puppets and Sesame Street was just brand new. And there were just so many puppet shows, uh, Captain Kangaroo. I just loved puppets, and I I just wanted to do that. I saw it on TV, and I said, that's what I want to do. So I just started making puppets. I mean, as soon as I saw it, I went, I know how they're doing that. I'm going to do it. Oh, wow. That, that, that is a pretty, that's a pretty cool story. I mean, so, yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, I understand, you know, I see, you know, you see something and it's like, you know, you, you know, you're like, man, I'm fascinated with all these things. And, uh, 
you know, I I uh, like to to uh, listen to different biographies and stories of how bands got together, and uh, a lot of people claim that uh, you know it was the Beatles that. Uh, that, that was the reason they bought a guitar and started playing, you know. Yeah, I, and, I know. And all these famous guitar players grew up listening to the Beatles. So for me, it was the Muppet Show, you know, it was the Sesame Street, it was yeah, that era of puppets. It was like, just like someone said, I, so they're playing that music. That's the music I want to play. Well, the Muppets were playing my music, so <laughs> I started wow, so that, making yeah, puppets the, and yeah, playing I think, along. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, the Muppets, yeah, the Muppets were, you know, they were. They were they they were a hit in the sixties, and I think that I think that they're still pretty big, really now. And you know, and oh, they still are, yeah. They I mean, still are. I think Disney. Years, yeah. I think Disney owns them now instead of Henson, but I think Henson still works with it, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of the same people from that time are still working. You know, Dave Goles, who mm -hmm. the beginning. You know, of course, he's, he's still working. So yeah, he, the legacy goes on. <laughs> Yes, so I'm just scrolling, scrolling through. So actually, before we get into some of my favorite topics here, I wanna, I actually, I actually do know about your story about you know, the whole ice cream cart thing. You were in an ice cream cart, and you know, right. yeah, I do know about that story. And I think you've been working in in Florida for for since you know, that around that time. Since, since, in 1990, you know, yeah, that's yes, when I yes. first got to Florida and started working for Disney World, and uh, uh, really showed up to to uh, be near where the Muppets were because that's what I'd kind of trained myself to do to be a Muppet performer. And I'd gone to New York a couple times. Mm -hmm, and same here. They said if, if you uh, into audition, an audition for the Muppets, and they said, well, we probably could use you if you live near where we're working, and I. I really wasn't brave enough just to move to New York, but when I heard they were going to Disney World, uh, you know, I, I just called Disney up right away and said, how, how do I get to Disney World? And they said, well, where are you? And I said, Indianapolis. And uh, they said, well, we're having auditions for Disney World in Indianapolis. It was it was an incredible lucky break, and I, they needed uh, someone to dance, you know, in a show, in like the Here Come the Muppet show. So. I I went to this audition and and I had been dancing at the Indianapolis Union Station like a singer yes. dancer and doing my puppets downstairs. Oh, of course, and, yes. You know, and and so when I got there, you know, I kind of aced the audition and they 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 relocated me to Florida. So I really was I got I got the golden ticket. <laughs> Yeah, you got the golden ticket, just like you know in the Willy Wonka movies. You know, That's you got right. the gold, you got the golden ticket. I and, did. You know, they, it's just they paid for me to go, and like the first day, even before I went to orientation at Disney, I went straight into the studio. They were shooting uh, the Muppets at Walt Disney World, and I knew some of the people from the from the auditions from New York, and they were there. So they just like, you know, walk, come on in, you know, I just went right in and they totally welcomed me in. And just a few weeks later, I found myself on that commercial and um, mm -hmm. they, uh, you know, Jim Henson said, let's initiate the new uh, guy. Yeah. And so that's when they put me in the ice cream cart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know what? Speaking of, you know, a lo I, I, I've interviewed quite a, I actually interviewed a few, I actually interviewed one person in Florida and. Yeah, he. Yeah, I've interviewed one other person that from Florida. He was a dude that did something before. I think before you went back there, because before you went back and did Animal Jam, there was a dude mm -hmm. that was on a show called Dooley that was filmed up there. In yeah, MGM I, Dooley yeah. and Pals. Yeah, I was talking yeah. to the dude that was that played Michael Eric Battle on this, who was on Dooley, and he's yeah, and you know. Yeah. He played Bozark, right? No, no, that no? that's not da no. That's David Maida. David, David Maida, Maida right, played. Right, right. Eric, Eric well, was one of was just a plain kid on the show. Oh, a kid on the show. He okay. was the kid on Dooley. Oh, sorry, but, I no, no, talking but, about David. Yeah, he. Yeah, but I, I'm I'm actually going to get to one of the kids in the in the show when we get to Animal Jam. I'm going to get to one of the kids in the show Those when we get there. Those kids were great. They were yeah. really, really. It was fun. They worked really hard. Everybody yeah, worked yeah, hard they did. Yeah, 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 they yeah they really I did. I don't know if anybody worked harder than David though. Yeah, <laughs> he, that's he came true. Out of that. He was exhausted yeah. twice a day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he did. So mm. actually. So actually, now I actually saw this, wanted to watch this a little more last night, but I didn't really get a chance to. But you actually were, but but I actually wanted to 
we want to talk about the webulous wood of Dr. Seuss, and you were, and I think I did hear about that. You were actually living in like a, you were living at like in a building in New York around that time. So you were like, you were there, and you know, you were yeah. on like a very big building, while you, and you would have to drive down there every day to get to where you needed to go. That's, yeah. you know, just how was it like to work work on there? It says you were Horton, Sam, I am, and some of the fish. Like, not, right. nor, 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 nor will the fish. Nor will the fish, that's right. Uh, yeah. um, adventure awaits. It waits for us, my friend. Adventure awaits around the very next bend. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know. I don't think I remember. I don't think I remember that <laughs> song, but I did. But I actually did watch a clip where, like, you know, where, like they were fighting against an egg. Like the, mm. the, him and the Grinch were fighting against an egg. So, like, so. But yeah, yep, yep. Well, we seen... did so many shows. We did two seasons, but um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and and each, each season was a little different the way we shot it. But uh, you know, I love doing that first season. Uh, we were all in front of blue screen, and they had a camera that moved around. Yeah, yeah. And, I think uh, I saw the behind the scenes to that too. I think you yeah. were holding one of the like you were the, holding the uncle. I saw that episode. You were holding the uncle, like one of the uncles that that girl played, like that girl. I forgot the name of it. You, but you were playing. Uh, was that Sue Snoo? Yeah, who are you, Susie. Sue Snoo? Susie, who are you? Who are you? Yeah, yeah, who that. You, Sue Snoo? Yeah, I played uh, Uncle Docs. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah you were. Docs. Yeah. yeah, that was and you. And we sold socks. Oh yes, <laughs> boring. Yeah, socks. We made socks. Anyway. Socks. Yeah, that boring, was fun. boring, we did sort boring. Of a, <laughs> <laughs> a Motown dance, or we boring dance. There great, socks. There's some great songs on that show. Manic yeah, I know, Muse, I Manic know, but Muse. not, but not as good as Animal Jam, though. Not as good, well, honestly, honestly. But well, I mean, it like was still good. Music. You know what still... I used to do on Animal Jam, which uh, yeah, uh, to to be different on the set, I would wear a different shirt every day with crazy animal patterns on it. Oh, oh. I, 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 no, I just saw that you were wearing like a. Like a, you would have like a black shirt on. Yeah. Yeah. But then over over that, I would have like a. I mean, I had like a t-shirt on, but then I had these crazy, sort of polyester shirts. My wife got me one for each day. I had a different one. I don't know how wow. many months we shot. I forget. But wow. every day I had a wow. different shirt. You know, to have sharks on it, or it'd be like zebra stripes, or and it all it always looked like a like a dance party shirt. So yeah. I had fun doing that. But, but I do. But but yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Th I'm trying to think. What was that question? I'll have to come back to it when I when I can. So actually, sure. so actually, you were actually Mel the dog, which a lot of people love. Lo a lot of people remember Jack's big music show, and they loved Mel. They remember Mel the Mel the dog. How was that? You know, how was that? How was playing Mel the dog? Well, I, Animal Jam was really fun, but um, I think that was my favorite oh, show. Oh, Jack's Big Music uh, Show. <laughs> Jack's Big Music Show, just because we had musical guests. And, you know, yeah. I always wanted to be on The Muppet Show. And yeah. to me, that was as, about as close as you could get because we were characters interacting with the musical guests and we were doing songs and we got got to do the, some of the songs live on the floor. Most of them we did live on the floor. And hmm. I... I, I my dream was to be a drummer as a kid also Ooh. i loved the drums and one christmas i got a drum set nice. and uh drove my sister crazy but then oh <laughs> it was gosh. voted out of the house eventually oh <laughs> but, uh, my gosh i was having too sister much crazy. fun with them well yeah. so it drove your sister crazy <laughs> so what that's the way to annoy your sister dude you got you got to <laughs> annoy your sister here come well, on you got to annoy him <laughs> we didn't have a big house so i didn't really have anywhere oh, yeah, to practice yeah yeah and, you know, yeah I I switched to banjo later, so that and ban, that banjo. I mean, ban, mean, yeah, ban, 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 banjo's cool. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I mean, I kind of sort of played the, I played guitar, and then I was a tuba player in the band too. So. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah music so I, really helps puppetry. I found that out. You, oh, really? Can, yeah, if you can, if you can play musical instruments, you can help. You know, when, like sometimes on yeah, I was a ba Street, I, I was yeah, I was a bass player mainly. Yeah, I, I, I played the bass in the jazz band, and that got me in the marching band, and so I played a, mar a marching French horn, a mellophone in the, in the marching band. And, uh, it, yeah, it, all those experiences really helped me with my yeah. puppetry, which is sort of what I called my puppeteer training. 
because <laughs> yeah, uh, I've used it every, like, almost every day when I work. There's something musical, there's something, going, like, I'll play Rosita's guitar, guitar for oh, her. Or oh, really? You, you, wait, you were, you were behind double. Rosita's guitar? Yeah, it's, a lot of times it's me playing Rosita's guitar. Wow. A lot of times it's me playing Elmo's drum. Ooh, oh, um, oh, yeah, you know, that. Just, just, I'm, I'm in all these shots somehow doing something, you know, for, for uh, yeah. you know, almost 30 years now I've been with uh, Sesame Street, so yeah, yeah, I've so done a lot of bits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot. Yeah, it yeah. actually, but, I think uh, it confirmed but like one you of my... said, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Mel the dog, I love playing those drums, and because, because I had Mel on, I know you can't really see this yeah. um, on the podcast, but, uh, yeah. you know, I, uh, the way you play the banjo, you kind of hit the the beat with your thumb, you know, it's yeah. kind of your thumb, and then you're playing with the other fingers to do yeah. the rolls, you know? Yeah, and with a guitar, kind of do... you just play with a yeah. pick. So... And so when I had Mel on as a puppet, I would hit the snare with my with my thumb, and it would throw his arm onto the... It would look like he's hitting the snare, so really my banjo training came in handy with getting you know, Mel to look like he's hitting those drums and I'd set those arms just right so they would flop. And I could I could do all kinds of crazy stuff and actually hit the drums, you know, with, with my hand just by yeah, twisting that, him around. Yeah, that 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 is pretty, pretty cool. It, and they would let me uh, do my own drum fills and just do them with my mouth almost uh, you know, like uh, like sounding like the drums. You know, like a, I'd go. Yeah, you know, that, I rem- like yeah, that. I remember that in that intro. I remember that in that intro. That. Yeah. Yeah, huh. I, I, I used to watch Jack's big music show. Too. I used to watch Jack's big music show as well. That one was that one was pretty good as well. Yeah. So, so if you've got good timing, you know, it really helps with puppetry because. Sometimes you got to come into the frame just on the right, on the right beat, and then leave right before the first beat of the next, you know, part of the song. So if you know how to how music works, you know how to fit into that, you know, into that bar, that measure, you can get in and out. And then you know the editors have a, a way of, of, yeah, you know, you kind of think as a puppeteer, you're kind of thinking about what's what's the director want, what is the editor, what would the editor might want. We, you're trying to think of these things to help them out, you know. Yeah, it, of it's fun. It's fun too to be sort of in all those circles and know how everybody kind of works, and you, you're working mm-hmm. with them as a team. Yeah, you know? so puppetry is kind of a teamwork thing. Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. puppetry is kind of a team thing because you know you yeah. have you have you know he 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 has to have double the hands, you know, maybe double yep. the double 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 the arms, you know. It's it's all that, and I you know I did some research about more hints and things. Yeah, and, you know that's what really make that's what you know that's what how it really that's the magic of henson for you that's right so one of the you mentioned the obvious world of dr seuss one of the fun things we would do on the set because we did we weren't in a real space but we looked like we were walking around and moving and walking. Yeah, like yeah. norval the fish had to be in a bucket for one song oh. and i had to like jump the bucket like it was moving down the road so i, I would have to move my hand forward and pull back and then jump forward Very and nice. pull back. Very but in time, with the scroll of the background, you know, so it just gives the illusion that I'm doing that, but I'm really just standing in space, you know. Yeah. But I'm playing yeah. with the background because we could see the background in real time. It was really fun to play around with that stuff. We'd, we would, uh, you know, they would do a, a pan across uh, like a fence line or something, and you'd sort of pick out a post on the fence. And then you'd move into the frame and just slide along the back of the wall, kind of. And it would look like, as you're moving, if you could match the speed of the uh, of the pan, it would look like you're standing in place. But you're really moving. So all these tricks yeah. that we would do, they're just fun puppet gags. <laughs> yeah, and before I actually get, 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 before we get into, you know, mainly talking about Animal Jam, I think, I think my friend Mason actually has a little... Question because he loves Bear in the Big Blue House, so I'm going to let oh, him answer yeah. the question. Okay, ask his question. Sure. All right, sure. Um, so, my first question I was going to ask for you, Mr. John. Um, yeah? What was it like working on Bear in the Big Blue House? Like, what did you do during the time of the show? Um, well, uh, it was going on. They were shooting that show, or they, they were starting it up anyway. 
as we were doing the second season of the Wubbulous World of Dr. Seuss. So I, I, I wanted to be on it, and I, and I think, I think I was asked to maybe be on it, but because I was working on Wubbulous World, I couldn't do both shows. So, you know, the timing didn't work out. So. Um, uh, I got to fill it with, once we were done with our season, then they were still shooting and I could go over and just help out. So, you know, I, I only worked a few days on, on that, even though it shot for years. Um, I was only on it a, a couple times and I seriously don't remember what I did. <laughs> I just was assisting somebody or somebody in the background or, you know, it, but uh, interesting fact is that uh, the studio that they shot it in uh, is now the studio that they shoot Sesame Street in. They had they moved Sesame Street uh, from one studio to another, and that after Bear and the Big Blue House kind of wrapped up. Wait, went, wait, oh. wait. So, Ses but I, I read that Sesame Street around that time was filmed at Kaufman. It is. It's and Bear and the Big Blue House was also. Oh, really? I thought it was shot at yeah. Lifetime. Well. You know, they might have moved. I don't know. I remember one. It said it was shot at it. Lifetime. That's what it. That's what. I, that's well, what I saw the credits. Oh wait. Well, that's it. <laughs> that's. I think it was on in that studio. Lifetime was on the third floor of Kaufman. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. I uh, yeah. I, right. Yeah. I was just a little bit. Com yeah. I was just a little co confused because I because I kind of look up the studios where everything's made. Like like yeah. you know they also I think they also did Between the Lions at Lifetime as well. Yeah. So, but to, to answer your question, I, I, it was really fun to work on the Bear and the Blue House. I mean, everything you see on TV, it was just all there, you know, in one spot and sort of, sort of a studio that at one side had, uh, you know, part of the house and the other side had another part of the house you know, and the cameras would just spin and they would shoot this side for a while and then they'd turn around and shoot the other side and and the swing was down at the end uh, of sort of a, they sort of had a ramp and uh, uh, so, and uh, raised some raised sets you could get into and stuff. So, you know, they, they really, Henson really built it, you know, to, to be um, a uh, you know, very puppeteerable set. You know, you don't always get that. I mean, even with Sesame Street, you're just on the street. I mean, it's not the street, but a fake street. Uh, it's magical, right. but as a puppeteer, it's hard to get around because you're you're down on the ground most of the time, kind of wheeling around on a low dolly. And um, uh, in in I believe in Bear and the Big Blue House, they were able to take away sections of the floor. You were able to get down in it, so it's more like um, more like a traditional Muppet kind of setup, you know. Whereas you're just you're dealing with a lot of people walking on Sesame Street, so but Bear and the Blue House it had some, uh, you know, it was fun to be there and all my friends, of course, that I worked with all the time. So uh, it was exciting, exciting times, you know, all these different shows happening all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, of course, but yeah, That's pretty cool. But yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah. I'm just reading. I'm just reading that Puppet wet website. I'm just reading the Puppet website because that's where yeah. it normally tells you instead of reading IMDb. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, you know. But yeah, but yeah. I'm just so about. So actually, I wanted to just mention about Animal Jam a little bit. I, you know, I don't, like. You know, you mentioned how it was every day. You know, working. How was it talking about the kids? You know, you know. I, there's one kid in particular that I really truly like, you know, mm -hmm. she went on to do better things. Her name is yeah. Spencer Locke. She was the girl in the blonde hair and she wore blue most of the time. I don't know if you would okay. remember her or, not, or, or not. She was the girl in the blue and she wore like blonde hair. Well, uh, we, you know, we got to hang out with them um, pretty much at the rap party and that was about it because during the uh, shoot day, there was no time to talk to any of the kids. <laughs> oh, so you only, oh, so you only hang, hung out with them like the, the rap day? Yeah, the rap, rap day was like the first day. We're like, oh, maybe we could talk to them. Because <laughs> during the shoot, it, we did two. We did the show twice every day. We had two groups of kids that came in each day. Yeah, yeah, actually, you know what? I noticed that. I noticed that. Yeah, yeah because, you know, one had, you know, spe ha had a group of, like, Marcus, Spencer, yeah. and Thea, and the other three yeah. were Steven, Clara, and Giselle. 
Yeah, yeah. The, the, those. Yeah, I wanted. Yeah, yeah. That that. Yeah, I was curious about that. Did you did you, did you put like did you have? Is there a reason why they were always together? Why you put mainly that most of the time they were always together? That's what I was gonna ask. Like, you know, because it was only mainly them. You know, like they uh -huh. were always in a group. Like it, like you know, it was like that. It was those three, and then it was the, in another three group, three in a group. So I, I'm not I'm not really sure what happened over there. I mean, we. We were just so separated from them, even though it seemed like, well, we ought to all be friends and we ought to be, you know, seeing what's happening. I mean, we we were flying by the seat of our pants most of the time. <laughs> it was yeah. really hard. Uh, like when here's here's what I would have to do every day. I'd have to come in. I forget what time, but it was like 7 a.m. I'd have to meet with the the. Uh, Oh yeah, the so, choreographer who would, yeah. who would teach all the the kids, you know, the dance. Oh, you, oh, so you were the choreographer, or did, no, no, or, or um, was it my, that Miles dude? I thought it was Miles, 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 Miles who did so stuff, the, who did stuff for Florida to begin yeah. with. Right. So I met with Miles every morning, uh, because he, and he had done a special dance and you know set did some choreography for um, for David for Bozart, and. Uh, so I would meet with him, and he would record what Bose, what uh, DJ One should say, and what time with the music. So he would play his tape, and then record himself saying, in time, what what they're going to be doing with the dance. Wow! And then I had uh, I had a little DAT recorder, and I would and headphones, and I at any moment that I had a break all morning I would listen to what he did because I would have to and I would take a script and I would mark it what how much pause or when do I start wow. to say that so then, you know within yeah. the music wow it was hard and um, and that's all I had to go by was what he yeah. did so I would listen to that and then when it came time to do the Bose art thing and now that we already we did the show all the way through and then it was time to do Bose art we only got to do them once a day yeah, um, would come out. yeah, he would come out because it was so it was such an exhausting dance. He could only do it once. Yeah, and so I couldn't mess up. I could. All, there was only one time in all the shows that uh, that I kind of did something funky or didn't do it right. <laughs> but every time, other time, I did it right. Um, and I would have to say what he's doing, you know, over that. Time. And I got one take. He got one take, and that was it. You know. That's what we would do. So, both so t so I thought that like I'm actually thinking, and and from hearing you know the whole thing, you know, it was mm -hmm. I think that most of these things were just taken in one. Nobody messed up. I thought people did mess up. Like did, nobody de messed up on the well, float. I don't know if any after of the kids. After I did up. that, after I went in and, and got that um, sort of guide track from Miles, we would go into the studio, the puppeteers, and we would shoot uh, the sort of the wraparounds to the music. So. It was yeah. um, Leslie Carrara Rudolph yes. and Ricky Boyd and yes. me and uh, yes. the other puppeteers there yeah, too. Yeah, John Tartaglia, Ed which John I want to have. And Allison Moore. Yeah. And um, uh, yeah. Andy Stone. Was there. Yes, Andy Stone. Yes. Yeah. So the, all, we were all there, and we would do our um, uh, uh, we would do our our wraparound scenes, and we shot those separately, so they would edit those in. Yeah. But then. But because it was sort of precious when the kids the precious time was when the kids came i know because we we only had so much time with them you know whatever the laws were for you know oh. having kids come in oh Plus, yeah they were in the park i think and yeah they were yeah there. i think some of them came from in the park and some of them came right. from school i'm not right. sure about, i'm not sure about the the like the ones that were wearing the green the professional dancers that ricky boy confirmed i'm not like right. in one in, in like one interview that i did with like James Nobes. I, I think he's emailed you maybe like James Nobes. Yeah, yeah, I think he's yeah. emailed you. Yeah, he confirmed in one mm -hmm. in one in, in one thing that, you know, they were the professional dancers. I call them the star dancers because, that, because you know, they were the main people cuz because those yeah. six were the main ones that yeah. they were up on the pews all the time. So I always, you know, call I already yeah. I always so called them. Well, we were doing all this, you know, recording the wraparounds. I think they were working on the choreography for the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to know what they I want to know what they I want to know what they were do, if they if they if, so, they, if they, they were different. So I never saw them until they were dancing. Yeah, yeah. And then, and we were doing that. We were we were on camera too. We had to and I would make up choreography 
for the DJs on wow. the spot. I would be saying, okay, now in in you know, now we're gonna go right and left and right and left and right and left and oh, coming right. up, we're gonna bounce and right. bounce, yeah. bounce, 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 bounce. You yeah. know, yeah. Be, yeah. Oh, oh, call oh my gosh. Out live. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, that that is something. And actually, speaking of, speaking of you know, we talked about. I do have a couple of of the DVDs which were released by Hit Entertainment about two years later. Mm -hmm. So, I have one. I have Hug a Day right here. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is Hug a Day. This, and then I have Springin. Yeah. Right here, and this is probably my favorite one. Let's jam together because I love the two episodes in that. I love awesome. the two episodes. I love the. I just. I'd love to watch them again. You know, I I get busy with other shows and we're moving on and doing other things and I. You know, it's really the memories that I have of, of us shooting. I mean, I've I... ripped. I mean, I've ripped it. <laughs> I've I've I, I've ripped it out of my DVD and I've I've ripped these out of the DVDs and I've posted them. So you know, mm -hmm. I posted them on my channel. So I mean, if you ever get a chance, you can definitely watch them. And I was actually okay. gonna. That was something I was gonna ask you about. Do you know anything? Like I was about to say, if you have anything in your archives about about like any footages or or whatever from from the show. You know anything like um, any episodes? You know, we we did some uh, extra stuff, but I I don't know who would have it. I I mean we we one day we just we sort of did a, a drama on <laughs> everybody just went and did their own thing and we just <laughs> made up stuff. I mean it was silly. Oh my god! I, oh I my god! Let me party. guess. I bet the kids were a part of that too. I bet all those kids were a part of that too, weren't I, they? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it was it. And, and I don't think I've seen it since we did it or oh and did the rap God. party. Oh, but, uh, oh, oh my was, gosh! A lot yeah, of shows I work on, there's always some kind of blooper reel, you know. Oh my God! Yeah, blooper. I, up, see, you know? I knew Animal Jam would have had a blooper reel, man. Yeah, it was such yeah. a fun show. I'm like, oh my yeah. gosh! But yeah, the but thing is, you don't hear the it. kids talk. You don't hear the kids talk though. They, they they're like little. They're like like young Mr. Noodles. They, like there, <laughs> right, like Mr. Right. Noodles. They're just you know just <laughs> okay. Well, we. I mean, we don't really get to hear you know them talk really. We don't get to hear them talk until other shows. I mean, I've heard Spencer talking to other shows, and Spencer sh and she's actually. A, if you haven't seen some of her stuff, like if you've seen, like I, I think Monster House is probably her other popular role that she that she she was Jenny in that movie. I don't know mm -hmm. if you've seen Monster House or not, but she, oh, I gotta see that. I haven't. Yeah, seen yeah, it yeah. She, yeah, she, yeah. She, she, she was Jenny in there, and then she was also. I think she did some other things for Disney too. She was in like Raven's Home, like to see. Oh, that's she, awesome. She, she did some things. things for I Raven, didn't even realize that. Raven's <laughs> Home. She did things for, I believe. What, what, I think she did. She did, did like a kids' bop thing afterwards. I got to get her on the podcast, and I got to, cool. got, I got to ask her. I got to ask her if she like, mm -hmm. like, what's her timeline? Because I think Animal Jim was her first role. It's just not on That's her great. resume. Yeah, wow. but yeah, I, I, I just. I, I just really like the show. It's a real pity that it what it was actually streaming a few years ago, but I can't find it now. All right. oh, okay. Yeah, it well, was streaming on Tubi. I remember there's one episode called Crawl Baby Crawl. Oh yeah. There's a yes. song anyway. And oh, that, I yes. think that's the one where I play that baby water buffalo. Oh yeah, 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 uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the water buffalo. I was actually gonna add. Yeah. I was actually gonna add that that. And I think Leslie was the voice, wasn't wasn't she? Well, I think I, I think I did. Yeah, I don't. Remember, maybe. No, no. <laughs> I it was. No, I, I mean, I don't know. No? I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know because I don't remember. But was that you? Did you do it? Did you do the voice? Okay, you did. I, yeah, because yeah. The reason why I me. asked is because <laughs> the reason why I yeah. asked is because I did not know. I did not know. I did not. I did not know who. Like, like, <laughs> I like. There's not a lot of episodes out there. There's only the ones that I have ripped and that that we've ripped, mm -hmm. and then there's ones that, you know. I think there's a partial airing of Hands Across Animal Jam, where where, mm -hmm. I think there's a partial airing of it that we found through like somebody somebody on Facebook who whose kids were on yeah. the show, so. So, I remember my niece was on that episode. She was a baby, and she she was one of the babies that was crawling. Oh, my niece Madeline. Oh man, I got I gotta <laughs> I gotta see that. I, I have to watch it again. Man, I gotta, but I yeah, but I can't out, find but. it. I can't find it. I don't know if there's any oh, episode. Yeah. I can't find any episodes. I mean, do you have any episodes or? 
No, or, I don't know. I mean, I have things that people sent me from years ago, and I got to go through all that stuff. But, yeah, I mean, if you, I, I mean, I, I always say, I if have you that. have anything from the from the show, I say just mm -hmm. bring it on over. Like, email it to okay. me and bring it on over. I okay, would love sure. to, love to really see. I would love to see that. Okay. But you know, but but yeah, and also you were. It says right here you were also on Fetch. I think you were like one. You did, yeah. did one part on Fetch. I, I played myself. Yeah. Yeah, you played your. That's on back fetch. when I was. Uh, I wrote a couple of puppet making books, and they asked me to come on as a puppet maker, and I went to um, a children's uh, hospital in Boston. Oh yeah, and I think it was the episode where Ruff broke his leg or something. He did. Yeah. Yeah. And because we had to make because puppets, sock puppets that look. Yeah, like we. I actually interviewed fetch. a fetcher a few a, about a few months ago. Yeah. I interviewed one of the fetchers. I believe she was in. She was in one of the later seasons. Yeah. So it was really. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. I brought my puppet stage yeah. there, and the kids put on a puppet show, and mm -hmm. it was, it was yeah. really fun. Yeah, uh, which which also led led me. I actually watched something last night. Like it was like this activity TV thing that you did with like this girl named Tabitha or whatever her name. Yeah, was. yeah, Tabitha, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with sock puppies. We yeah, sock yeah, you did. Yeah, I yeah. Did, uh, I saw that last night. And I'm so like, so oh. many puppet. Uh, you know, pick puppet projects on that show and little skits that I wrote, and yeah, it was really yeah. fun. I, I, yeah. I wish it would come back. <laughs> yeah, and also, yeah, yeah. Also, How did you see it? Where did you see activity TV? on on YouTube? On YouTube, I saw it. On, I think somebody posted it on YouTube, and I'm oh, reading. Okay. Yeah, I'm reading more about this, and I don't know, but I think Kermit Swamp Years was filming around the same time you were doing the Animal Jam, was it or no? Yeah, it was really close. Yeah, it was around. Yeah, because you know, I, I just know Animal that Jam was in two thousand, and I think um, uh, you, you, Swamp Years was two thousand one. I think I actually yeah. I think you shot Animal Jam in two thousand and two though. You shot the sh you shot the show in 02, and then uh, it didn't it premiere till possible. 03. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that that's what the Muppet Central said. Two thousand two is when you shot. That's what Muppet Central said. Okay. Okay. But I don't really I, know. I mean, I don't really know. Was it a few again. years ahead of time? Was it a few? Was it a few years ahead of time? Cause, I mean, I don't exact. I don't exactly know, really. Well, it takes a while to get them together. You know. take, yeah, I was also shooting uh, the country bears around that. Time oh yeah, too. around. Oh yeah, you were. Yeah. 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 So I, I, I saw that. I saw that LA movie. That, honestly, that Florida. movie when I first saw that it was kind of a weird movie to me. Like when I first saw it, like when I was little, <laughs> like some of the stuff was just some of the stuff was kind of weird and like, <laughs> oh my gosh! Like I remember like this one scene where like this bear was like crying over like you know he missed a love. He missed like yes. his love, and he was like, "Oh my!" I'm like, "I'm okay. This is just weird." And then I remember another time when like somebody was like saying, "Oh no, Country Bear Hall is ruined." Oh my gosh, yes, that was a little yes. weird as well. <laughs> but so far, my favorite ha has to be it, it, it has to be Animal Jim. And honestly, I do have to say, you really worked hard on that show. I don't care what anybody says, you worked well, hard thanks, on that thanks. show. You worked hard, and that and that was for like TLC slash Discovery. For the yeah, discovery, discovery, for the discovery, channel, discovery. Right. I think it. I think you know. I remember one logo, and I think I actually found this logo from another friend of mine. Uh, you guys actually said when it, Paz was like saying, "Are you ready for what's coming up?" And then you all would shout, "Animal Jam!" And then <laughs> yeah, that lo I think you guys probably knew that yeah. it was going for the Paz yeah. era because you because y'all would know Tim Legassi. <laughs> Oh yeah, Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes, because I think Tim the Gla did Tim did Tim the did Tim Leglassy come and see you guys do do Animal Jam or no? He, he should have. I don't know if he did or not. I, I'm forgetting what what uh, if we had any guest puppeteers or if he was able to come out. I know, you know, I first met him at Disney World. He he was uh, he, he was. Uh, like a tour guide at the animation oh, oh, studio. Oh, really? Oh, really? I but did it, not it, know that. that was, I did not know that. Yeah, he had, he had his uh, his tour guide outfit on, and I met him. You know, I had my outfit on because I had, you know, we had like yellow t-shirts and and black shorts that we had to wear and hats. Yeah. Now I will be uh, now. At, at, the studios. You know. Yeah. Now I will be honest with you. I did try to. Con I, I I did try to contact some of the jammers, and o and only Spencer was the one that was very nice to me. The other the other ones. I mean, I can't find the boys, but the other girls. They didn't seem like that. They wanted to talk about it. They didn't seem very friendly. Like like two of like two of the girls blocked me. Like the two girls that were with Steven, they blocked me. Uh, well, I I really don't know them. Like I said, I just. Uh... 
you know, we didn't really get to hang out too much. It was like they I mean, were doing their thing and working really hard, and we were doing our you know, thing kind I mean, of on the other I mean, side of the studio. I mean, that that's the thing. I, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to get Spencer and, and and ask her what was her what was her proposition because you guys just did the puppeteering, and I think that they would film you guys last. You they would film you guys as like the DJ segments last. But uh, I don't really. You know, but we, that's they filmed said. our stuff in real time so when they were dancing they had cameras on us too and we were doing our thing while they were dancing so they would get all this stuff happening at the same time yeah did, did, did you get did you like did you like did you guys ever get any laughs like i thought the, i just thought the kids would have saw you would have just did it like you guys would have were doing all this stuff while the kids well, were, they, were there know, the way the set was it was built up higher so we were up with our arms up over our heads yeah i, I just thought and the kids would have saw you guys do all these funny skits like probably you, could see our feet in our legs and our feet from below the stage but because they they could see below what we were shooting above, you know. Oh, and, um, oh so, so it really was like a puppet stage that we had. So they oh, probably they probably just believed in the characters just like we did. Oh my <laughs> gosh, you, you guys are like, I wonder what they're, like they look at me like I wonder what they're doing. I wonder what they're doing here. I wonder what they're doing up there right now while everything's going on. But you know. Right. I love the people who did the music. Michael and Patty really did a good job, and Peter Lurie with oh, the yeah. theme song, just absolutely yeah. incredible. They did it. They they yeah. did. What was one of your and favorites? I sang the theme song. Oh yeah, too. oh yeah, you did. You did sing I the did. theme song. Yes, <laughs> I remember that. Yes, I yeah. do. Like I don't remember the very first time I saw Animal Jam, but I just remember one morning I was just eating peanut butter. I'm not sure mm -hmm. what episode it was, but I was getting ready for pre. I think I was I was eating peanut butter one morning. I think it was right after High Five came on. I saw yeah. it because I think it would air after high five and mm -hmm. I was just eating peanut butter one morning before I went to preschool and then just I don't know what y'all were doing I don't know I don't know what y'all were doing I don't know if you know what episode it was I just remember just eating it and just listening to the big body goodbye and then the, the, <laughs> yeah. and then the intro and you know just I'm just listening to I'm, I was just listening to all that and just it was just really really good and it was, it was just really, really great, and I'm proud of y'all's work. I'm proud of y'all's work. I just, Thank you know, you. I'm proud of the work that you did on that show. You know, you did you did something for a new era of Ready Set Learn, and I am proud of that. I think that has to be one of the best stuff. And then until Hip Hop Harry took took, I think it took Animal Jam's place. I don't know, but I think Hip Hop Harry took it over. I'm not sure. No, but I know they played it for years and years and years after. Yeah, yeah. I think actually, I think TLC stopped, but then Discovery Kids continued it for years. Yeah, exactly. That's what happened. Yeah, and I, yeah. So it's it's neat to have a lot of different shows on. You know, uh, it's it's nice to know that people enjoy it. I really appreciate uh, that you um, liked it so much. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just really, really, you know, I was, I was, I was a little hesitant. I think I did email you once before about mm -hmm. about about Animal Jam saying, "Do you know anything about it out being lost?" I'm not sure if I, I'm not oh. sure. I'm not oh, really right. sure, but I think I did email you once about it. But I'm just, I'm just really. Sure. I mean, we, I, we do have. I think my this you fan asked about, about lost episodes. Or yes, something? about the episodes yeah. that we were not able to really access because Tubi was. What was what was streaming them a few years ago, but I just can't find them now. Like I look at them, like right. where is it? Where is it? And I do have a petition to try to get it, get try to get it up. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you, I hope you're successful. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think they're, uh, you. you know, it's great Thank work you. that so, everybody did. All the dancers were amazing. And yes, the, all those kids were awesome. Kids, the kids obviously loved it. You know, who were there, and and we enjoyed performing the characters for everybody and. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe you can bring it back. Yeah, yes. I mean, I'm starting that right now. You know, I'm you know I'm having fans. Like when I first posted, you know, the the very first song I posted was that was the buzz song. Like I mm -hmm. posted the buzz song, buzz song, which I ripped from the DVDs, and it it went crazy. Everybody, like a few, like when the virus started, like I just posted it, and I'm like, oh my! Everybody started to say, oh oh my gosh. I love this. I'm like, I didn't even know I would change this. I didn't know that I would change this. You know, entertainment, you know, has been a big hit for a dude with autism. You know, especially after my mom passed, you know, about, mm -hmm. you know, three or about three or four years ago. And, you know, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, 
you know that's that, that's one of the things I wanted to that's why I wanted to do these podcasts because I wanted to talk to because I wanted to talk to people you know about you know all these things about entertainment and how it helped my childhood out because I've never had a lot I've never had much you know close friends in my life I mean I did but just a lot of them have just kind of faded away a lot of them you know they didn't treat me like like they said that they wanted to be close to me but they didn't really treat me like they were close and you know that's one of the things you know and seeing all these entertainment people from the entertainment fan base you know trying to re get in contact with these people I just was like you know this is really really this was you know this has really been great and actually Tristan you've been really silent the most of the time do you have anything to really say to this not to this really thing? to be honest not, not really. really. Yeah, yeah, not really. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, because you told me you didn't really, you, you, you probably have seen some of his stuff, but you haven't, you know, you haven't really gone deeper into it. But yeah, I, but, I really haven't, to be honest. But, but, you. but, but I have, and I've enjoyed it, and I've really enjoyed it a lot, but actually, well, thank you, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to really think, I'm trying to, trying to think, I don't know how much longer I have with you, John, but, you know. Well, ask away, whatever you want to. I mean, I'll I just if I can answer. I mean, because I really, because I really, because I really want to. I really want to. You know, I, I, there, there's still some good things to talk. There's still some good things to really talk about. But I know that you're a puppeteer and you got time. And you, you know, sometimes there's things that you can do with some guests and some things you can't. So, right. yeah, yeah, I would. Actually, well, you know, you mentioned um, Tim Legasse. I've been working with him a lot. Yeah, he. Yeah, and I think he was doing the past show as well, maybe. Yeah, but I don't yeah, know. That's but what he was doing but, that. But yeah, yeah, one of the I things about on that one. But, yeah. But um, yeah. that one. Uh, yeah, one of the things about MGM. Did you guys ever get to see people? Did that, Did people ever see you guys do anything? Anything like? Did people ever see see get to see you know you guys record? Like, do you see you guys doing the show? Like, cause, um. I'm not sure. I, you know, I think I think you could go through uh, in the tour. I think they, they they had that backstage tour. I think people were going through there, and they could have seen us possibly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know if it was in if in that exact studio? Because I do. Because I did. Because I did see. I don't know if it was in that exact studio. Do you know? Remember the remember the sound stage? It, it was like, do you remember the sound stage number? Because I did see a picture on Facebook of, of another kid, like one of the just one of the other kids that was like on the show, nice. but like not not one of the professional dancers, but some of like those kids that were wearing the white paw, like wearing the white print. Yeah, I don't know if we were in stage one or stage two. It, it feels like we might have been in a different stage. Yeah, I think they might have had some smaller stages near. Um, what was it near? Uh, closer to New York, uh, New York, the street, New York Street. Yeah, and uh, actually, and actually, we actually had a background singer on here. My last episode, Amy Angelhard. We actually had her on. Yeah. We actually had her on the show, and she told cool. me that it was at, like I I don't. Did you go to the premiere in Hollywood? Like they said that they premiered. They did. They did like a big screening in Hollywood. Of of Animal Jam. Yeah, they did like a screening in like in front of the Henson Studio in Hollywood. Wow, I don't think I, I don't think I was. Uh, I might not have been able to be there. Okay. We did a, we did the pilot in New, in, um, in L.A. Oh, you know, I, they so you did the pilot? So you did the pilot of Animal Jam in there? Yeah, we did it there, and I don't think they'd. Oh that yeah. Ricky could be there yet. I think I I did waffle. For yeah, you, the, yeah, uh, yeah. You did waffle. Yeah. I mean, do you know any? Yeah. I mean, I was about to say if you if you probably if you probably have the pilot because I'd love to see it. I don't know. I don't think I do. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. you don't really have the pilot. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, don't really have the pilot. That that, that really <laughs> that that really stinks, dude. That yeah. really that really that just really. I mean, stinks. I moved on to um, you know. Uh, country bears and some other things and yeah. then you know it kind of got uh, that was around uh, 9 11 too I oh mean, yeah oh yeah country well, bears was filmed about 9 11 yeah, i believe we, yeah we we uh our last scene was uh we, we it was delayed uh the the scene with zeb uh, zuber the fiddle playing bear that i did oh yeah um, with brian setzer uh was that, honey, was that the was honey that bar the, Oh, at the bar. Wait, wait, was the bar the last scene? I thought the last scene was the whole, you know, the the part where they were, they they were doing the country bear well, hall. Well, that uh, one was no, I think the last thing that we actually shot, we did the country bear hall thing, but that was like earlier in the production. 
or toward toward the end, but not the end. I think the last thing we might have done was was that. But then we came back. Um, I think they decided the film was doing really. They really liked the film, and they wanted to add a whole beginning part where we're playing on the stage. And we and we uh, came to the the Disney um, studios in Burbank, and we shot a whole opening yeah. scene. Yeah. Afterwards, I think yeah, Haley, yeah, Haley Joel Osment was Barry, so I remember. Yeah, yeah I Haley got to meet him. Yeah. Wow, wow, that is cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Set. Yeah, he was Emily Osment. He, Osmond's he came brother. to the Honey Bar. Is uh, yeah, he was yeah, he was Emily Osment's brother. And, and Queen Latifah too. She oh, she gave wow. me a big hug and and uh, wow. she was really nice. Well, wow. and actually speaking, of, I think you. I don't know if he knows it, but did you know that actually Pancake was actually on Hannah Montana? Like the water buffalo was on Hannah Montana. Oh really? Yeah, the water buffalo that. was. Cool. Pancake was. And I'm like, oh my god. And I think Victor Yield played it, or like Victor Yield did something yeah. with it. But I don't, I don't really okay. know. I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Pancake, Pancake was on, was on. I just was like, that puppet was on Animal Jam before it came to Hannah Montana. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, there's a lot of those puppets that ended up in uh, Puppet Up and uh, oh, oh yeah, Pensin, Pup, you know, oh, Puppet yeah, Up, Puppet Up, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Puppet Up, and actually, and actually, I they haven't used Edie yet. They used everybody else, but they've never used Edie. Yeah. They have, I wonder where yeah. Edie. I wonder where the Edie puppet is. I know. Did, did you um, ever see Telling Stories with Tommy to Paula? Telling Stories of Tommy. De, I'm nope. trying to think. I never heard of it. It was a it was a show for the Hallmark Channel, and um, oh. I played uh, Tommy DePaula's uh, best buddy sidekick, Gabe the Squirrel. Oh, <laughs> and that Whoa. was a really fun show to do too. We did that at the Henson Studio. Oh, real? Oh, wow! Yeah, we did a whole series really? of it, and uh, and it, I, it went really well. It was how I, to tell stories, you know. Uh, and I actually didn't really notice this, but you were, but you were actually on the Chica show. I actually did not know know that you were well, on the I Chica show. I played Chica's dad. Yeah. Wow, you played Chica's dad. You played Mr. Yeah. Mr. C. Wow, that's Mr. really cool. C, How's yeah. Kelly? How How was Kelly? I actually oh, really liked she's her. She's awesome. Yeah. I li I like really I kind of liked her. She was she was really good a part yeah. of my childhood. I really enjoyed her. I enjoyed yeah, her a lot. We we uh we all played ukuleles at one party once. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, she's come to Florida too and, and oh come down gosh. and stay. I bet and, she has yeah. goofed off quite a lot. She, I can tell she's a goofball. <laughs> I can tell she's, she's a really goofball fun, the yeah. way that she is. I can tell she's yeah. a goofball. She's like, really did, did you meet anybody else from that from Sprout at all? Did you meet anybody else from Sprout? Uh, let's see. From Sprout. Well, I met as. Well, Sprout had. Uh, you know, it was Jack's big music show. Really, I and didn't notice that. I just, I, thought, oh, wait, no, I, I just so, noted it aired on Noggin. Right. I just know, right. no, I know that that, that aired on I'm Noggin. Sorry, I got, I got that wrong. That's Noggin. I see anybody from Sprout. Um, not, not really. I, think I mean, my memory of doing Sprout, um, we did uh, I, on Father's Day. I would come and do Mr. C on the live show. Like we did a, they would do a morning Chica's morning show, like four hours live every morning. Wow. Uh, but on Father's Day, I would come uh, oh, and yeah. do uh, Mr. C, and usually there's a, a host, you know, like Kelly would be a host, you mm -hmm. know, but um, I was the host, Mr. C was the host, and there were no humans, it was the only time they didn't have like a human host, you know, oh. some, a person there, yeah. on the, and I did the puppet and talked to Chica. Oh, and yeah. did this whole and we had guests on but it was mainly yeah. just me hosting it was a, and yeah. we would shoot it all kind of lot we did it live for one day and then i would pre-record another day and we'd play that and, yeah and it, oh yes oh yes uh, speaking of sprout actually actually know another person who know a person who loves this show you guys did things with, like i the pajanimals you did su the yep, pajanimals yeah and you were apollo yeah. i believe that's right. You were Apollo. You were mm -hmm. Apollo. Wow. That's really, really cool. That's really cool that you were Apollo. Like, I mean, I got. I mean, I got. I mean, I gotta say, you know. We shot all those. Uh, the first. Well, I didn't. I didn't play it during the series. Uh, but we we did the first like fifteen, I think, music videos. They got the series going, and then they went to yeah, Ireland and shot the main series. Oh, the so show. Wait, 
wait, so the show was shot in Ireland? Oh my gosh. The main, the main show, yeah. We we did like 15 music videos and, and some interviews and stuff over three days. Oh, wow. In, in uh, the studio, in, in the Henson studio. Yeah, in and actually, I know I noticed this, that there's actually a UK dub of the of the Bajanimals as well. Actually, like oh, a, is there? Yeah, there's okay. like a U with like UK voices, but yeah, I, bet, I, I but, didn't get to go to Ireland and shoot that. So, I thought, I uh, thought, I, wait, did, did 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 I'm trying to think? Did you do voiceover for 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 it? Did you have to do voiceover? No, I think they just found somebody that there was a close match. I actually I never saw what they did over there, but uh, you know, I thought you, I thought you did like voiceover for like Apollo because you were Apollo, so I thought you did no, like voiceover. Not, not for the not for the main series, oh. but you know I got to sing a bunch of the songs and you know for for the first fifteen little oh. music videos. Yeah, I, oh yeah, I remember that. I do I do remember that. My gosh, I do remember they that. But let I, me unofficially direct one of them, one of the music videos. Yeah, I think yeah. So, I'm trying to think. I I found like I like I remember when I first saw Sprout. It was actually a few years after it. After it, you know. Mm -hmm. After it, after. But it, it was really... fun. I mean, the the just the jib shots they had coming down from the mobile that was above and down into the the bedroom area where the kids are going to sleep and all the songs are so good. You know the. Silvershires did the all the music. Oh and yes, and so they're amazing. they're always good at composing music. And actually, oh, yeah. I was going to ask you about Animal Jam. What was one of your favorite songs to do on Animal Jam? Um, well, you know, I didn't get to sing too much on Animal Jam, but as DJ One, um, I was I think I did some background or a couple things, but it was mainly you know. Ed and and uh, Waffle that did yeah it was mainly Ricky and Leslie that did a lot yeah of they stuff. sang most of the songs yeah yeah maybe I might have sung something I forget I, I sang the opening that's yeah uh, you just sang the opening but, <laughs> yeah but that was just once well, well yeah the, one of my favorite songs was one of my favorite songs was the whole was the what what was I believe they call it bounce but I call it start again that was yeah. one of my favorite songs and oh my god I just yeah. love the beat to it it's like gospel yeah. it's like gospel with a mixture of hip hop. Right. And wow. oh my gosh, I just love it so much. It's about, and cool. I know a lot. A lot of people. I actually a lot. I I, I do know somebody that, that actually kind of despised that episode. I'm like, it's not a bad episode. I mean, what Waff, you know, when Waffle stole like Edie's song, it was. I I think it was Battle of the Animal Jam bands. That one was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and one one of my favorite one of my favorite parts is like when you what like throughout the song of Monkey Say Monkey Do, you yeah. guys like during the second part, all the whole kids d literally just did yeah. like they stuck their tongue out and they blew raspberries like the like <laughs> the majority of the time. Oh my That's god, funny. that just cracked me up so much when I first discovered this. That cracked me up so much. I'm like when I like I literally had to spend like 35 on like the Let's Jam together DVD. I just went like 35, 35 plus a few extra about shipping. And actually, I, I I'm not gonna throw too much of a fit about it because it's a big. It was a, because it's something that made me laugh. So I'm not mm -hmm. gonna throw too much of a fit about it. So, <laughs> but yeah, that was that that was, was one that was really good. And another one that was do. really good is when you all did the scooch. Oh my God, the scooch when you all like. Yeah. Y'all did the scooch yeah. like you guys were doing this and this and the whole studio was doing this because I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> that was. It's I'm like, why isn't this a meme? All the dancers. It, yeah, it, like really, why a did, lot of kids are so fun to see. Yeah, like why doing. didn't? Yeah, like why didn't? Why, why isn't this not a meme? When I first got, I'm right. like, this should have been a meme. Like, bro, we need to make this a meme. <laughs> Bro, make this, bro, bro, make, make the scooch a meme, please, please do, <laughs> anybody that can, that would be so awesome, I would love, we would love to get, get everybody do, doing this, I try, I, I did post it though, cause that was probably the best part of, of, of the eighth episode, was probably when they all did the scooch of the right size for you, <laughs> that was probably the best part, that's probably the best part of it, but I do, but you like I said before, you get lost watching the monitor, because you'd see all these cute kids, in the in you know in the dance there dancing around and yeah i'm not i wonder i be doing I'm, them and be like look at that and they go oh we got to be doing something <laughs> oh, oh and the, and they said and like what we'll say and look bozark's doing it and everybody else <laughs> yeah <laughs> like oh my god so everybody went so what like was was, was the scooch was, like were the kids told to do the scooch were they told oh, to do yeah. that, or were, oh, or yeah. was, or was, or did they just do? Or was that just not any like? I'm pretty sure they did. I'm pretty know, sure Miles told them to do it because that was I, gonna be. 
part yeah, of the show. So part I'm sure of the curriculum because <laughs> because I'm pretty sure they do, they would do it. But oh my god, the scooch! Yeah. Like, dude, that was amazing. You don't you don't realize on some of these shows that everything you know has been studied and analyzed, and mm -hmm. and they they do test audiences and things on different yeah you know, on different moves, and they have uh, specialists that 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 help you you know find what what the curriculum should be and i'm always surprised at how many people are behind that before we get to the moment and everybody's just doing something you know yeah I'm <laughs> there's just always look some you know smart thing behind it yeah i'm just look i'm just look i'm realize. just looking and i'm i'm actually just looking and actually you're doing some stuff on sesame street which is oh, okay you're doing some stuff on sesame street I, you were i think you were i think somebody told me that you were mumford that, that's right i've you're been mumford doing mumford on sesame yeah. street yeah how how is yeah. mumford it, he was my favorite character when I was uh, a kid, so oh, I was excited yeah. to get to, to perform oh, that. You know, yeah. Jerry Nelson performed him, created him, and uh, yeah. I would. Yeah. Uh, I, I just am honored to get to do it. You know, I'd done it. You know, when Jerry wasn't there or couldn't be there, I would yeah. do that sometimes. Yeah, yeah, Jer yeah Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry. I mean, oh yeah. How did you feel after he? Actually, we got we got some passing people to talk about. Like, how 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 did you feel about you know when they when he passed? You know, when Jerry Nelson passed a few years ago. Well, uh, you know, like, obviously sad. You know, we worked with him. You know, for years on different projects. You know, the Muppets Tonight, uh, and. Um, uh, the mook some of the movies and things we'd always hang out and talk he was really nice to me even once he uh, i you know i was in new york i didn't have any place to stay i you know between apartments or whatever and i was i was just sleeping on the the like the green room <laughs> for oh, a couple dear. nights and he said you don't got to do that uh, you can come to my place so he uh, that, let that, me that's come really, his that's apartment really kind. And stay at his place that so that, was, that is really kind. i'm trying to i'm trying yeah. to really, trying to really Trying to, trying to look, yeah. still look because I don't, I didn't really live in New York ever. I, I was a Florida resident, so yeah. I mean, you know, and it was just, you know, there'd be a project in L.A., a project in New York, yeah. a pro you know, so it'd only be like a couple months. Yeah, it was actually weird to be working in Orlando. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. nice because I could just wake up and at my own place and go to work you yeah, know, and, and other, actually, other than trying to find a place to stay in new york or LA. yeah speaking of rip rip people you know rest in peace people we we just ha recently had another person that passed away we, louise from sesame street how was right. it like to work with him he was he was the nicest guy i mean he just uh he, whenever he saw me he'd go hey john and i just <laughs> so honored to That's get to work really with cool. him from seeing him as a kid on Sesame Street and growing up with him and then spending so many years working with him you know it just yeah, you, uh, know. you know it's really sad that he's gone yeah you know you know it's just like what I'm doing now you know seeing you know watching you guys when I was just this little toddler and just watching te television and mm -hmm. just now seeing you all stealing to do these things now and are in you know, and for people that are willing to come talk that is really 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 just something that i really enjoy and i you know i always appreciate your work and just well, you know, thank you an animal jam for just one of them you know you know mm. i don't know you know i don't know if we'll ever you know have that really you know a con you know i you know until we can find a whole series i want I, I won't say my full opinion you know on each show but i want to review each show and i want you guys to hear my i want you to hear my opinion on how you guys did on each episode because it's really something it's just really something that i just really enjoy. it's just something that it really has animal jam says something that that has grown on me especially since this you know the virus has really gotten in you know mm -hmm. it's been something right. really good and just i actually know one song that would really fit space to space oh my mm -hmm. gosh that that song would definitely fit around the time that we're going through right now like yeah. we got we got to remember our first our personal space let's just remember right. our personal space okay so That's actually nice. We do have some, my friend Martin Krebs actually has about four questions. Okay. And he actually asked, "What was it like to work on Animal Jam?" And we actually confirmed that it was, yeah. you know, every day it was just a great experience to work. And it every was just, day it was the exciting dance party. So what? Yeah, what's to not I like mean, about it? I, it's I, so exciting. And actually, I do got a question. Did 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 they make sure you guys were fed? Like, did they? Did you guys? Did they? Did like was there ever food prepared on set or, or whatever? Like behind the scenes. We had lunch every day. Yeah, they, like, they had like, lunch for us. Like I know yeah. that. Like I know sometimes you guys would go to maybe go sneak in MGM and go get some food. I believe, but I don't know. 
Well, that's one of the cool parts about working at a theme park. You know, we were in a studio at a theme park. We could go and ride a ride, you know, if there was time. But most during that shoot, there really wasn't any time. <laughs> we, we were kind of locked in that room from early morning to the end of the day. And by, the, by the time the day was done, you didn't want to go ride a ride. Yeah, like, you were just so. Hey, let me yeah, fall you were. Yeah, you were so. Yeah, yeah, I bet because you guys were at, like working there at like seven in the we're morning dancing, to like. You know, like seven in the dancing morning. is some of the hardest work because your arm is just up yeah. and you're like bouncing and bouncing yeah, and bouncing. Yeah, you, like yeah, you, yeah, you guys are working at like from seven in the morning till like I don't know what time at night. <laughs> well, probably seven at night. Seven at night, so that's For like twelve us, hours. Like, dang, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. like I, like I, like I want to know if they gave you guys any like any relaxed treatment at all. Like, did they give you all any relaxed treatment at all? Did they give the kids any relaxed treatment? Well, the the kids were the two groups, so it was like one group before lunch and then one group after lunch okay you know, so we kind of did the show twice okay for two so you, different groups so, so they could get so you, different reactions from different kids and yeah, and we yeah. had a chance but we didn't we only did Bozark once yeah 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 yeah, because yeah, because that was yeah, because that's what I was really like thinking about. Like it would yeah. just be like one ep, like one like yeah. one per episode. Like we would have like a kid right. group and then another kid group. Yeah, like so you put like you put those jammers. Those, uh, like you yeah. put those jammers in there for a reason. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why though, but just I'm not sure what the reason was. I think I think they were picked for the for those groups for a reason. The the dancers. Yeah, you know, yeah, the, those star yeah, dancers. Yeah, 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 they were yeah, they, they, they were they were paired to each other they because were really, you know to as backup. You know if the kids weren't really doing the dance i think they could always cut to them yeah <laughs> the, I, actually the kids I, that were yeah part of the group you know that yeah, were just yeah. you know from the park yeah they I, weren't yeah, getting yeah. it you know that they assisted jammers helped uh, them catch on to the choreography oh really that 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 yeah. that, that, that you know that's really They're, something oh big yeah. big family love big brother yeah. big sisters that like yeah 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 and also i do know what what one of the floor one of the one of those girls from florida like i'm talking about thea she actually did do some acting acting like she was on flicks musical adventure she was the girl on like flick oh, cool. i don't know if you've seen that like she was on flick i haven't but i'd musical like to adventure yeah. yeah i think the whole thing's on youtube so if you ever get it, cool. so yeah, that Thea girl, she was the girl that was with, with Spencer as well most of the time. Mm -hmm. So, and and actually, I think for two episodes, I think you, I think for two episodes, you actually like, I think Spencer was with Stephen and Clara for 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 at least two two or three episodes, as what what I, what I'm looking at is what I'm looking I'm at. But sure. most but most of the time, it would just be you know, it would just be those three. It, it would be like those three, and then the other three. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like you know one one, uh, one third and then another third of the group. I'm just trying to trying to straighten trying to make it clear out. You know I have autism, so sometimes it's really with my head. Is sometimes it's hard. I have to span in a lot of words. And his second question is how did how did you like working on dinosaurs? Oh well, that was uh, you know that was the you know prime time TV show. I was mm -hmm. 23 years old and. I couldn't believe I was there you know I just how, how did I get here you know it was like within a year I went from being in Indiana and auditioning to going to Disney and then going out to LA and working on dinosaurs it was just a whirl whirlwind you know it's amazing that yeah that is really something and you worked with Ricky Boyd for so many years too at where? Sorry. You worked with Ricky Ricky Boyd for so many Ricky years Ricky Boyd, too. yeah, he was he was on. Which uh, we're actually gonna have him, I believe, in May, because that's the time when it was in production, I believe. Okay. May cool. of yeah. maybe twenty yeah, years ago. I first time I met Ricky was was uh, on Dinosaurs. Yeah, so no, like May of because we're, we're gonna talk about Animal Jam a lot when when he comes okay. here. Okay. So. Cool. Yeah. So. That's, and also, and also, Martin asks, is, "How long have you been puppeteering for?" And I think we confirmed that over like maybe forty years, thirty. Probably. 40, yeah. yeah, thirty. Well, 40 I, you know, years. I started when I was, you know, three making puppets, but uh, you know, so if that's if you count that, then it's been fifty years. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I don't but think you're. I, guess, I don't think you're you know, old, John. I don't think you're old at all. I still think you're. Old. I. I don't think you're old at all. I mean, you <laughs> well, may consider it, but I don't. I don't at all. You're still young. You're still young to me. I'm young at heart. You're young to me. Any, any, and 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 Teddy, you already did this earlier. And actually, and actually, he wants to know if 
you could still do the voice of DJ One, and I and you've already did that earlier. Oh yeah. Oh, oh so <laughs> so you still got so you still got D, 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 DJ DJ One, but well, yeah, but yeah, but hey hey DJ hey DJ One, how is it? You know, how, I know that you're not doing much Animal Jam right now, but you know, how was it like? How was it like? You know, 20 years ago, and then you're having a fan come to you now. Well, it's been a long time since the show, but uh, I'm I'm very excited that you uh, come to me now, and I, I think I think more people should have come to say hi to me. I I really don't know what what's happened uh, to my career. Um, I haven't done much DJing since. But... Yeah, yeah. I just actually realized that. Actually, I realized that actually. You act. I realized that actually. You actually actually nobody nobody has ever mentioned to you about Animal Jam till na till me actually. No, I don't think anybody else has mentioned to you about it. Possibility. <laughs> I don't. We, I mean, we talk about it. You know, the us puppeteers. We go. Oh, remember when we did that? And we have you know stories of what happened. And, but yeah. You know. But yeah, I was gonna. It, I actually was gonna ask this. Was Animal Jam supposed to have a second season? I don't know if it was or not. Uh, I, I, you know, you you hope for a second season and more, but you know you don't uh, you don't count on it. A lot of a lot of shows just. You'll do a few of them, and then that's it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because I think you guys only did one season. You only did that one season. I'm not really I like. I think we did enough shows. We did so. We did a lot of shows all at once. I mean, did did you did did you, did you guys get to bring the puppets out to the park, like the Animal Jam puppets out to the park, and they got to meet their favorite? I don't think we did that. Oh. I don't think we did. You know, we were kind of locked into a mode oh. to get a, a sh the show done as it was. And oh, I yeah, think, yeah. I, as I, I think I remember we did a whole bunch of shows all at once, and then they just played them for years. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, but like three you know, years. But then like yeah. three years, but then, after, but then you know, and I don't know what really too. happened. I don't know what really happened right. after you know quite some time because it because right. they could because I think Discovery continued after Discovery continued and but then TLC just stopped because I actually have the schedule of when it like of when it like aired of when it like aired like the stuff that aired and how you know yeah so it's really you know it's just really so it's really you know something it's really just something to see, you know, from your childhood. You know, you can, mm -hmm. you always, you know, is great. And also, if Animal Jam had a reboot, would you love the? Would you love to do some, be a part of it? If Animal Jam came back as a reboot, or... I think, uh, I think it would be like it, I never stopped doing it. You know, like we, you know, how you, it's like riding a bike. You know, you jump, I'd jump right into it and I'd do it all again the same way. Yeah, exact, exactly, man, exactly. You know. And and that's just well, that's one of the things I you know I feel bad for the Ready Set Learn at TLC because from TLC and Discovery Kids says those channels did I'm actually surprised that those channels did not get that much of attention, and I'm like, well why not? I'm like why not? Why why did it not get much? Well, of most attention? of the time with uh, these shows, you you do them and you forget about. You remember the really good stuff and you know maybe some of the things that didn't go so well, but. Uh, uh, you, you remember all the good times and you know that but in looking back now I think wow we sometimes we would shoot on shows um, like what we swore the dr. Seuss we would shoot till one in the morning and then wow. or, or maybe two in the morning I mean, we would go wow. late and also on wow. dinosaurs it was like that too but on Seuss really? we, we would finish and they go okay it's time to loop the show and then wow. They'd have a show that we'd shot before, and we would shoot. We would do looping till like five in the morning. <laughs> this nice. is on a yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm getting into some, you know, stuff with. I'm getting some into some production stuff too. I'm doing some things with my voice, and I'm, you yeah. know, I'm doing, and I'm also doing some audio engineering, which means maybe I can, like, maybe some, like, some vocal removing and all that for like yeah. some other shows. So I'm technically doing that. Yeah. And that, and I gotta say that that's actually pretty much of, of a fun thing to do too. And also, we have a, you know, we have, you know, I think we're having some puppeteers, you know, mm -hmm. puppet puppeting. You know, we have some pup, we have about a few puppeteers that are really here, and um, you know, they I'm can, one of them. Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. I, 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 yeah. I did, I did have a few puppets, but I don't know where they went because when my mom died, they had to. <laughs> when my mom, when my mom, mother passed, they had to, you know, re-renovate our house. So. Yeah. 
So I was so I kind of lost the puppet. I had a pair. I had a parrot puppet. It was really cool. Like I had a parrot mm -hmm. puppet. And I had like mm -hmm. a shark puppet. Yeah. That was really cool about that. Yeah. Sometimes you can and, find you know, a, a really good store bought puppet that works well as a character and and can be you know yeah can work well on is, you know television yeah, or um, yeah. you know on a, on a monitor you know it's good yeah. to practice and and yeah keep, I think it's always keep working good. at it if that's what you want to do yeah I think it's always good to practice well what are you really working on now what what shows are you working uh, on now Helpsters we just finished another season of Helpsters have you ever, yeah. ever seen that. I oh, think yeah. so. I think so. Yeah. And also, yeah. I think you're doing something with like Julie Andrews, Julie Andrews in Green Room. We 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 did that show. Yeah, a few you years were Toby ago. Toby the uh, dog. Toby the dog, right? Yep. And that was to, fun to do. We, yeah. We were, and uh, yeah. We, it was all, uh, you know, just being a dog again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dogs are fun because you don't have to learn any lines. <laughs> yeah, Just yeah, <laughs> and yeah, and also I'm reading. I'm also reading reading this. You were actually the you were actually the the performer for for like not a performer but a puppet coordinator for the Muppets Wizard of Oz, which a lot of people a lot of Muppet fans despise that. I don't understand why. It's actually oh, not really? that bad. I didn't hear that. But it it, it, yep, it was a uh, you know it was fun for the to see the characters in you know that setting in the wizard of oz setting and it was it was great to be a part of it the yellow brick road and and uh, all yeah, that i kind of you know, liked the muppets wizard of the boss it was actually really 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 fun to do it was, it was really fun to watch i really i really enjoyed i really enjoyed ashtony whatever her name was i really mm -hmm. enjoyed her hey, ashante. ashante yeah I Shante, think he did some right. stuff with some of the jammers too, and other things like some of the formal jammers on other things as well. Right. So I believe she did something with one of them, but I'm trying trying to scroll down here. But how was the very Muppet Christmas? How was that? That one was. Uh, let's see. Well, I got to play Stuck Frog. Yeah, yeah, that was the character frog. that got its my tongue stuck to the the, the metal flagpole. Oh. Like a stuck, stuck frog. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. And Muppets from Space. Oh my gosh. Muppets from Space. Yeah. I got to play a lot of great characters in that. Yeah. Muppets awesome. from Space. And I think Ricky yeah. actually played. I think Ricky was one of the people in the background. He didn't puppeteer. He was just one of the people in the background. Ricky like, Boyd. Yeah. Well, most of the time he got to do Animal. Oh. Um, yeah, we uh, Frank Oz couldn't be there for all of it. He yeah, was Frank. there for some of it, but uh, there were big scenes where we got to fill in for him, and I got to do Fozzie for a lot of it, Fozzie Bear. Wow. So. Wow. And was, it also it said you worked on awesome. Allegra's Window and Eureka's Castle. How was that? Yeah, the, those were uh, another couple Orlando projects. Yeah. Uh, Allegra's Window was at Universal Studios, yeah. and I was here for some of it and i got to you know jump in and be a part of it yeah because i think uh, you, you know a few days kind of like what i did with baron the big blue house you know yeah. i just did like a few days yeah you, only did, yeah you only did a few days at these things so you worked with you worked with you worked with you worked with you know no you worked with noel for quite some oh, time yeah. Well, uh, yeah, awesome no awesome i got to hang out with because he um you know he was playing magellan on eureka's castle and I was still an employee yeah. at Disney, so I could get people in. You know, I'd get like four people in every day if I wanted to with my oh, pass. Right. And so, and Noel loves Disney, so oh, right. Um, oh, right. He, so we, I got, I got him in a few times. Oh, and we got right. to hang out together. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> just, great. yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I was, oh yeah. Old dogs. I was going to mention about old dogs. I don't know, but Bozark was the Bozark suit was in old dogs. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. How about oh, there was some mean, other characters in there too. I I was in, um, I forget which one I was in. It was like a, a it might have been Abelardo, or or it was, um, no, I was. It was another character from Israel. And I can't think, remember the name, but it was yeah, a costume character. Yeah, I don't And Robin Williams would come over to me oh, and talk yeah. to me in between takes. Oh and yeah. He would. He had. They had yeah, a fan that they were going in through the suit to keep me cool, and yeah. he was holding it for me. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't. Were, were you Bozark or were you somebody else? 
I was somebody else. It was another character. Oh but yeah, yeah. It was so brief now in the movie. You know, we spent most of the day dancing on that stage. Yeah. <laughs> who who was totally inside ended. Bozark? Do you know who was inside Bozark? I can't remember. No. Because that was I like two thousand. I think Noel was there for. He was in something. I believe Noel. And, uh, Matt Vogel was there, but wow. I can't remember who did what. Yeah. It was it was such a quick thing and and we did it once and that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, um, yeah. I'd have you know, to I try to remember back. Yeah, it, yeah. And you know, it, it's just really, real. You know, I'm seeing seeing all these things that you were in. You know. Oh yeah, he's showing you There's the photo. There's DJ One. Yeah, he's showing you <laughs> yeah, the photo. Yeah, this last year. Gave him some sunglasses to give him a good look. That's like cool. Me. Great. Yeah, job. I think I think you gave I think you, I think you gave Mason a like. I think you gave his yeah. his thing a yeah. picture yeah. like. And, yeah, he was the dude that did the DJ DJ for you. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. So yeah. so yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna. Yeah. But I'm. But we're definitely gonna keep the Animal Jam world alive. We're definitely gonna keep it alive. Great. We're definitely gonna keep it alive. We definitely are. And actually, I act. And actually, I think there's a, a few more people that wanted you on their podcast as well. Jake's mm -hmm. Happy Nostalgia Show. They wanted you on their podcast. Okay. Yeah. Great. That's what okay. they. That's what they, But they were trying to reach out to you. One of them was trying to reach out to you, but they didn't know what happened. Oh. Well, yeah. uh, you know, you you've got my number now, so if you want to pass it on. I mean, I can. I mean, I can pass. I can pass on the email. I can pass on your email or your number to them, and I can, I can ask. I can definitely. Ask, yeah. I can definitely give get get give you guys get, give you their information. Yeah, I'm gonna be uh, amping up, being real busy here again, but uh, yeah, you're gonna be. Uh, I can try to schedule something. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what we did right now. I mean, I tried. To, I think I emailed you first about this back in you know no 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 yeah. November. Yeah, I like, had to have some uh, two. You know, I had to have my uh, my molar uh, worked on. Oh yeah! <laughs> so, oh, okay. I hate that. I had a root canal you know, done one time. Oh my yeah, gosh! Yeah. I know, hate it. Been, I hate that. I'm still kind of in the middle of all that, so I, I figured I wouldn't be able to talk very well. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't. Yeah, but I I'm understand. Okay right now. I understand. Yeah, that 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 it, mouth surgery is very tough to really yeah. go through. It's not. Yeah. It does not feel good. No. It don't feel good. It gives you like a, so much of a pain. Right, but yeah, but I'm not, but but actually, did you did you ever get a chance to work on anything? Like, did you get a chance to work on anything PBS? Like, maybe between the lions at all? Did you get a chance to work on that? Uh, I did not work on that show. No, I I almost did, but I you know I I had the opportunity to get to work on it, and I wanted to, but the the studio was being uh, built in LA, and I decided to move out oh. there. To be a part of that, and oh, um, oh, yeah. and be a part of all the shows that came out of that. Wow. So wow, most that, people, wow, I I might not have been able to be on An Animal Jam if I was on that show. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Maybe you would you would add that somebody I, to else do DJ? To, do yeah, because uh, you know you you kind of decide what you're gonna do. Am I gonna go th this way with work or that way? And you get offered different projects and. You, you have to make a decision, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, one I'm thing glad I did the things I did, you know. I, I, Between the Lines was a great show. You know? Yeah, I, it, yeah, it was. It. And, yeah. Also, and also, you've been working on this faith-based show. Like, you're working on yeah. this show. You were yeah. On, on uh, this show, I forgot what it's called. Like, Slug with the Bug with Ricky. Slug, slug, slugs and Bugs, right? Yeah, with, like, yeah. Ricky. You're working that with I've Ricky. Built a couple of the, the characters and, and. Yeah, how was yeah, 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 how, yeah, how, how, how it like working on that? Uh, well, it's, it's, um, it, it's a. The, the puppets are really fun to, to perform, oh, and right. uh, it's great messages and. Um, I, and I love going to Nashville. That's where we've been shooting it. So, yeah, Nashville. Uh, I'm probably gonna take a yeah. trip up there one time. I'm, I'm only six hours from it, so. It's really, they're really wonderful people, and uh, it, it's a great thing to be a part of. So I'm, I hope it continues. Yeah, but I was very able. I was glad to associate something with you today. I was a, glad I was able to get you today, and you know mm. we were able to talk. You know. Yeah, to talk because it actually thanks. took me a while. It actually took me a while to really try to get get to her. Yeah, Jeff. thanks for and being then, persistent. <laughs> yeah, and and I didn't really want to bother you too much because I knew you were, you know, 
I didn't really want to hey, bother well, you. Yes, you know, I was hey, real. Well, we nervous. worked it out, and I'm glad we got yeah, to. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm glad, to we, I'm glad we talked, too. But I'm just about to say, anybody that wants to get into puppeteering or anything in the industry, what would you recommend? Recommend? Uh, well, I would recommend, uh, you know, continuing to watch anything you can with, with uh, that's been, you know, done in the past with puppets. But um, I would work on... Uh, your own kind of group of characters that you've got, even if it's just in your head. And vo the voices, um, uh, try to come up with your own family of characters that, that you know really, really well. And if you were asked, you just do them on the spot. And, uh, and then get, get in front of a, a monitor. And I mean, like, uh, like set your camera up or your phone up so mm -hmm. that it's it's yeah, backwards in the monitor. I don't know if you've tried that before. I think I have. I think I know. have tried it with like plushes, like my own plushes. So I have tried that. So. But if you set your your phone up and hook it up with like an HDMI cable into the back of the TV and then aim it toward you, uh, and mm -hmm. and perform into that into that phone or or camera, uh, you'll notice that it's backwards. You know when you turn, like uh, when you're using. You know, when you're just looking at FaceTime or whatever, or, you know, or Zoom or, um, or Google here, you know, I'm, if I look right and left, it's a mirror, and that's that's easier to do to practice, easy to do to practice because you're used to a mirror. Yeah. But um, when you're using a monitor and a camera to work, it's actually backwards. So when you turn one way, it looks the other direction. You know, like that. You know, it's still it's still forward forward and back like a mirror but it's you know it's it's switched so you got to get that into your head and it's something that's really hard to sort of get beyond if you haven't done it if you haven't like practiced for like a year you know doing that just doing songs and coming into frame and out of frame and just doing simple like moves and try to make the character look real and and bring things down to you know the simplest form like just breathing you know if your puppet can just breathe you know just small or or you can do big things and then go back to small or look away or and then snap look right back at camera yeah. and be perfect every time you just snap right into it mm -hmm. uh those are the things you just have to be able to do yeah of and course. not be thrown by it and, and see we, we've got the uh, puppet over here yeah i think see part of it yeah. It's a, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm starting. To, I'm starting up right now, but I'm gonna give him a new look this year. Um, uh, gonna get it rebuilt and give them. I'm. I got him the head and the. Awesome. Yeah, he has got the live hand. It's awesome. Yeah. So, he is. This is Elias, uh -huh. and uh, he's an Arctic Snow Wolf, and I he debuted in 2020. Um, I gave That's him the a great puppet. Yeah, I mean, I gave him a uh, sunglass look last year in March because um, I want to make him look cool like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're kind of like the Blue Brothers of the movie, so. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I can see, yeah, I can see so, that. So that's what it takes, just wanting to do it. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of times people will say, well, I'm a puppeteer and I can do that. But yeah. they haven't really done it that much, you know. it's. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, one course. thing I've learned through the years is, you know, you got to really want to do it. Uh, you got to be so into it that you can take rejection. You can take, you can take anything. Any, anybody saying anything about what you're doing, whether they like it or not, or and 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 just still do it because you enjoy it. Yeah, of course, of yeah, course. I think yeah, cool. So just oh, keep at it. Yeah. Keep doing what you like to do, and and uh, you know dreams come true. And yeah, and of course. Testament to that because it's it's like all my dreams came yeah, true of puppetry. It's all I worked really really hard at it, and mm -hmm. I just kept doing it until I did what I wanted to do. Yeah, I want, and I actually have this picture of the whole cast from then. I think Leslie posted this on her Instagram. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the picture of the cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was there. a picture of the cast. And honestly, I do know that I think there's one ex I think I do know that what that I believe the girl I think the girl that did that I think Clara was not there. Claire, I think Clara was not there cuz I know that the other that the other that the other five professional dancers were there. 
Okay. But I didn't see Clara in there, but I'm not sure if she, oh. if, if, if she's, I don't, and I don't think the girl, like, right, that's right down there, like, right, right there in the middle, like, that girl right there, I don't think that's Clara, because I think Clara looks a lot different than that, so. Okay. I wish I'd, I'd really, you know, talk to them more, you know, mm -hmm. get to hang out with yeah, the Yeah, of course, more. yeah, they're, of they're... course. I think there is a picture with, with, with Leslie and, and Ricky, and they have the puppets of, yeah, I think there was Steven. Maybe that's something I would yeah. have to. That's something I would have to ask them. Uh -huh. But hopefully, I do. I do want to get an animal jams jammer side and what and what their you know, yeah, what their side. And if I can get Spencer on, I'll definitely ask her that question. Okay, she great. seems like a very very. She seems like a very nice girl, and she she, she yeah. like I've, I've I've commented to her on Instagram about it. I've commented commented some of her stuff in the, in Instagram about it, and saying that I know her from the show, and she's liked it, and. She and her mother have, have liked to have liked my comment from it, so it's really, you know, great. It's it's really great that I'm able to see people from my childhood, and you know. Yeah. Well, when you talk to them, tell them uh, DJ One says hi. All right. Yes. I yes I will. <laughs> and I believe I believe that Spencer does have an email actually. So I mean, okay. If you ever wanted to reach out to her, you okay. could. You you you. I I could definitely give you give you her email. I mean, actually, I think her email's on her Instagram. Okay. If you ever well, want to, I'll DM talk her. to you later about it. But then. yeah, Thanks. but yeah, but anyway, <laughs> I had so much fun today. Thank you, thank you, John, for You're being welcome. a part, thank man. You. I think you probably got to got to go right now, which I think you probably yeah, do. probably better go. But yeah. uh, it's great. It's, it's, but I, yeah, I I've had a lot of fun uh, talking to you. And Thanks. also, Mason, thank you for being a part. Yeah. Tristan, thank you for being a part. You're welcome, dude. But yeah, and hopefully <laughs> nice we, we, might, we we might nice we might we might we and also and and, and and we possibly may have have you back. I'd like to try to have you back if, if we if we're able to. I would like to try to have you back, which is it would de it de okay. I would I would love to have you back on sometime. Like maybe we could do something for like the for like since a Animal Jam is going to be 20 years old next year. Maybe we could wow, do something for Animal crazy. Jam. Maybe we could do something for Animal Jam <laughs> next year in sure. February. Well, I think it's something special to do. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I can. Maybe I can host it. <laughs> okay. So, Great. So well, yeah, that well, would be let me really know. great. But I will definitely let you go. And I'm not. And everybody for the next episode, I'm not sure what I'm going to have <laughs> yet. I do have some people in the works. But just stay tuned. But in May, most definitely, we're going to be talking to Ricky Boy to May. So if you have any questions for, for Ricky in May or for us in general, please let me know so I can, you know, tell us what to So please let me know. And um, I will definitely tell Ricky that you were on the podcast and you said hello. Yes, please say hello for me. I will definitely let him know about that. And uh, until then, everybody. Thank you for watching the Entertainment Treasure Talk of Samuel Warwick. And this is Samuel Warwick, Mason McGinnis, and Tristan Webb, and John saying we will see you guys next time. And comment, like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And don't forget to sign a petition. And also, I'd like it if you would sign a petition too, John. That would make it okay. be helpful. Sure. I'll definitely link, link to you about that. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see everybody on the next episode. Peace. See ya. See ya.